When you log into Roblox, what is your go-to game? For a lot of people, it has increasingly become games based on popular anime series. It is a fun, immersive way to experience your favorite anime or manga. There aren't a ton of Bleach games available, at least not as many as there are for One Piece or Dragon Ball, but there are some Bleach games that are pretty amazing. So today, we are going to take a look at the ultimate Bleach game on Roblox. Karakura Online. Thanks for watching and welcome back to Wild Roblox. Number 5. The Map. While there isn't much of an introduction, you simply spawn directly into the map after selecting a few preferences in the beginning. The map is pretty cool, rather simple, but the houses have a lot of character and there is a lot of charm. It is pretty unique because you spawn directly into more of a modern setting. It looks like the outline of a modern town. It is fairly suburban. There is a small park and a lot of different streets and buildings. This is unusual because you kind of expect to spawn into a village, but it is pretty different. It is quite refreshing. Number four. Battle. Once you find a monster, you can engage in battle. The mechanics are fairly simple, and the gameplay is honestly nostalgic to an older time of Roblox. However, the charm of the game is really what makes it all the more fun. It is important to go into battle so that you can gain some EXP to buy some skills and equipment. You do need to level up your character. When the hollows come at you, you want to hit them. Then make sure you dodge their attacks. They will try to hit you immediately after you hit them. Then you need to hit them again. Number three, playing as a hollow. One of the neat features in the game is you can play as a hollow. You will start out small, but each time you eat, you will grow bigger and stronger. So when you are battling another hollow, defeat them and then rest for a moment. The actual eating feature was streamlined so you automatically get the benefits of winning the battle without needing to do anything extra. It takes quite a long time to grow to max size. You need to kill about a hundred hollows. When you progress enough in the game, you will see you get red eyes as a menascar. Then you can press M to rip off your mask and evolve into Agikar. Later into the game, you can go into Vastikar. Number two, VIP server. If you don't really want to worry about gaining EXP or anything like that, you can go into a VIP server and partake in player versus player. In the VIP servers, players do not gain EXP. So it really is whatever you want to do. Number one, skills. There are a ton of skills and weapons you can buy as you gain EXP, like shooting lightning from your hands and sword skills that will make killing the hollows a bit easier. There are also a lot of really common things to earn here as well, like increasing damage attacks and stronger blocking skills. So if you kind of grind hard in the beginning, you can really get ahead in the game. If you are a gamer that really enjoys the grind, hardcore battles, and kicking the butt of hollows, this game is seriously a ton of fun. It gets addicting pretty fast. Let me know if you've played it and what you think of it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you never miss an episode from Wild Roblox.